My name is João Paulo and I'm going to present here the work I've been developing together with my friend Fagno and Professor Elio. Our motivation comes from this paper published by Sovi and Nagausa. In that paper, they consider a special kind of Lorentz symmetry evaluation described by a constant parameter present only in the velocity term of the Dirac Hamiltonian. In our perspective, this parameter is not a constant anymore, having a general space-time dependence. In face of that consideration, the Lagrangian of the model must be written as an equation 1, where psi is the left electron and chi is the right electron. Here, Lorentz symmetry violation happen in two places. First, by a constant multiplying this partial part of the full derivative operator, and secondly, due to the presence of a space-time anisotropy described by the presence of this full vector v. And we ask ourselves, how this kind of this break of Lorentz symmetry affects the scalar sector? To answer that question, we promote our model to a supersymmetric scenario. The supersymmetric extension happens in the arena of this superspace described here. The form of the superchargers and SUSY covariant derivative operators are unchanged. And all of that keeps SUSY algebra intact. That said, and following Susie's overcoming construction, construction rules step by step, we can write down the following superaction, which is the QED superaction plus Lorentz violating terms described by the presence of this omega superfuse. With that superaction in hand, the free gauge gaugino sector in action is written in 12 with the connect term for the photon given by 13 and the Dirac's equation for the photino in 14 and the modified Maxwell's equation in the presence of the effective electrical and magnetic fields in 15. The fermionic matter sector is in 16 and its modifying Dirac's equation is in 17. The modified fermionic dispersion relation is given by the expression 18. We also have the free scalar matter sector in expression 19 with phi being the superposition of the left electron and S of the right electron. The modifying klein gordon equations are N20 and 21 and the modifying dispersion relation for this sector is in 22. The mass spectrum in the gauge gaugino sector is trivial and we can see that in the matter sector the SUSY mass degeneracy is broken. It is due to the presence of the LSV background in the model. This is a first result of this model, which is still a work in progress. And as soon as possible, we are going to search for application to the model in condensed matter physics, particle physics, and even astrophysics. To finish, I would like to say thank you for your attention and to these institutions for the support to our research. Thank you everyone.